Hey guys, now we want to be talking about production possibility curve. First of all, let's know what is the meaning of production possibility curve. The concept of production possibility curve, meaning it is a graphical representation of all the possible combination of two goods that can be produced by the optimum utilization of available resources and the given technology. It gives us the maximum limit of goods and the service that could be produced. To make it clear, let's look at this one example. This car show a theoretical factory that can be set up to produce tractor or car. If it produces only tractor, it can produce a maximum of 100 per day. You can see on point A on the car. If it produces only cars, it can produce a maximum of 50 per day. Point C on the car. From this, we can infer that cars require more resources like time, technical, expertise, material, and etc. to produce. The factory owner may choose to allocate half of their resources to tractor and half to cars and produce at point B. Connecting points A, B, and C with a line creates a PPC. Importantly, all points on the line are potential output combination. All PPC model use the same logic. No matter what is being produced, any point along a PPC is considered productively efficient, which means the producer or nation is using all of the productive resources as efficiently as possible. The combination of goods the party choose to produce can be influenced by preference or market demand. Now, we want to know how to draw a production probability curve. In real situation, an economy is capable of producing thousands of goods and services. But to better understand this, production possibility curve, we imagine an economy that only produces two kinds of goods, namely car and bread. We assume that car and bread production together use all available production factor at certain level of technology. Now, this is the possible combination of car and bread can be produced by an economy. If we draw it in a graph, would be like this. In this economy, if all the resources were used for the bread industry, the economy would produce 15,000 loaves of bread, but no cars. On the contrary, if all resources were used for the car industry, the economy would produce 5,000 cars, but there was no bread. Another alternative is that if the economy divides its resources between car production and bread, then the economy can produce 2,000 car and 12,000 pieces of bread, indicated by point C. Point X is a combination that is impossible to produce because the economy does not have the resources to reach that level of production. In other words, the economy can produce at any point on R in the production probability curve, but now at the point outside the PPC curve. The curve deficit through points A, B, C, D, E, and F are production probability curve or production probability limits. This curve describes the most efficient production limit that an economy can produce. An outcome is said to be efficient if the economy can produce the most optimal combination of exciting resources. When the economy produces at some point, such as point D, and then wants to produce more bread, 
then there is no other way the car production must be reduced, while point Y indicates an inefficient result. The reason is the use of production factor that cannot achieve optimal level of reserve. If the sources of this innovation is eliminated, then the economy increase its production by moving to one of the points that exciting along with the PPC. Before we go to the another explanation, first we have to know the characteristic of the production probability curve. In economy, people always facing the trade-off. So, this production probability curve show a trade-off faced by society. For example, when the economy reaches an efficient point at the limits of production capability, the addition of one item can be done only by reducing the other goods. When the economy moves from the point D to the point C, for example, society can produce more bread but at the sacrifice of only producing fewer cars. The production probability curve also indicates the opportunity cost of one item due to the producing another. Let's take the same example. For example, the economy moves from point D to point C. It means the economy has sacrificed 1,000 units of car to get an additional 3,000 pieces of bread. In the other words, at the point D, the opportunity cost for 3,000 loaves of bread is 1,000 car. Well, this opportunity cost is what causes the PPC curve to have a negative slope. But, if we look more closely, this production probability curve has a shape that curves outwards. This is because the points on the production probability curve have different opportunity costs. This means that the cost of shock opportunities depends on how much its item is produced. Different slopes at each point on the production probability curve are also related to the marginal rate of transformation MRT. MRT on PPC show how much of an item must be sacrificed to get one additional unit of other item. The production possibility curve has an ever-increasing MRT value, so the shape of the curve becomes curved outwards. As the economy uses more of its resources to make bread, its PVC curve is steep. This is because the resources suitable for making car have been used to make bread. As a result, any bread sacrifice can result in a large increase in the number of car. When the operate resources for making car and bread are more widely used to make car than its sacrifice bread, is only able to produce a slight increase in the number of car. Now, I want to explain you about change in the production probability curve. In the previous description, it has been explained that the production probability curve has a condition that the technology is at a certain level and does not change. But what happens if there is technological progress in the car industry and the bread industry? Suppose there is technological progress in the car industry, while the technological in the bread industry has no chance. Advance in the technology in the field of cars can certainly increase the number of cars that can be produced every month. In other words, the economy can make more cars for any given amount of bread. As a result, the production curve is like to shift outward as in the following figure. Due to economic growth, people may move production from point A, B, C, D, E, 
or app to point G so as to enjoy more car and more brain. But in reality, technological advance can occur in all sectors simultaneously, including the automobile and brake industry. If this situation applies, then the number of car and brake products can increase, so it will shift the curve of possible production to the outside. Technological advances in the automobile and brake industry in general are not the same rapid. Technological developments in the car industry are generally faster than technological development in the brake industry. The development of technology that is not as rapid as can be described by displacement of the production possibility curve as follows. If you want to make the production possibility curve easier, let me show you an easy way to create it using SL. Okay, now I want to show you how to make a production probability curve more easier in Excel. First, first step, we have to block this number, except the title, cars and breed, and the combination A, B, C, D, and E and F, just block the number. After that, go to the insert and find the cards. After find the cards, find this. Choose this. Scatter with smooth lines and markers. Okay, now the card is appear here, but not complete. Now we want to make complete. If you want to add the point A, B, C, D on the car is simple. Just click on the point here and click right and choose add data labels. Okay, the number is show up. The number we change with the co this combination A, B, C. Suppose to change it. How we change it? Simple. Just click the number and go to the formula bar, click twice and go to the formula bar and change with A and 5, change with B and change with C, 12, change with D and 14 chance with E and 15 chance with F okay now the point of combination on the car is already put in now we have to change the car title we go to the formula bar again and just production Chance with probability Okay. Ah, the car title is already in the car. Now we want to add the access title, the car's title and the brief title. How we add it is simple. Click here the card area and you just click this card element and click the access title okay now you just change it in, in here it's supposed to read and in here it's supposed to card okay that's how 
to make a production probability curve in Excel. Easy, right? Benefit of studying the production probability curve. We know the results of the PPC curve for producer or company. The production probability curve is used as a benchmark to convert production factor into production result. The production probability curve PPC provides insight into the efficiency of the production system. When the manufacturer are faced with the situation of producing two products simultaneously, manufacturer can use this curve to decide on the ideal comparison of the two types of goods to be produced by minimizing cost while maximizing profit. The production probability curve PPC indicates the maximum output of the various goods a company can produce when all its resources have been full utilized. Thank you for watching and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe.